Rubiel Mosquera, the big newcomer. A lot of people saying he is going to be the next Ronnie King Coleman. That is incredible considering he just got his pro card and just made his pro debut. Placing third just a couple of weeks ago, guys, at the Prague Pro to these other two gentlemen, Samson Douda and Michael Crizo, really making an impact. A lot of people saying he is the rookie of the year. But just back in August, a lot of people seem to have forgotten. There was another gentleman, Carlos Thomas Jr. And he also made his pro debut. And just like Nexilla, Carlos Thomas Jr. placed third to two gentlemen that could be equal to Samson Douda and Michael Crizo in Andrew Jack and Hunter Labrada. So it is a pretty fitting comparison, and it's a pretty good question to ask. Who is the best newcomer in the IFBB? Is it uh, Nexilla, or is it Carlos Thomas Jr.? This is an excellent comparison in the front double, because it shows the strong points of Carlos Thomas Jr., which are his arms, let's face it. He is defeating this great big Nexilla. Godzilla, he is defeating him in the upper body altogether. Not only the arms, triceps, biceps, Carlos is unbelievable. He's a beast. But look at the midsection and the V-taper. He has a, uh, oh, it's unbeatable, at least in this matchup. Now, when you look at the lower half, you can say that Rubiel is destroying Carlos in that aspect. But last time I checked, Carlos Thomas Jr. has pretty good balance. He has a huge upper body and he has massive wheels, looks pretty balanced, aesthetically pleasing, all those things of all that nature. But, I mean, Rubiel, are we not going to award him some points for those massive tree trunks for wheels? Calves are bigger than my whole body. Here's the front lat spread. And Carlos Thomas Jr., he is very good. I think he is going to be a force to be reckoned with this upcoming season. Upper body wise, again, I think he has Rubiel's number. Now, keep in mind, these are pitchers. You watch the video footage and Rubiel, I mean, his muscles, they just pop. They boom. And Carlos, he resembles that remark as well. He is pretty darn good. Very sleek, very sleek. But Rubiel, I mean, upper body, he's catching up to T Carlos Thomas and when that happens you know you really look at the lower half and think well Rubiel he's pretty darn good and he is food for thought competing at the New York Pro this upcoming year the 2024 New York Pro seen that on uh, Bodybuilding News Network starring Josh Sanch here is the turn to the side and usually this is where Rubiel he takes off, you know, just like a jet airplane. And he is in the lower half. Carlos Thomas, his legs are impossibly big. And I've said that before. And here is where you can tell that Carlos may need a little bit more time in the oven condition-wise. But when he gets that, I do believe he'll have about the same impact as Rubio in this shot, considering his upper body, it looks better. The more you look at it, though, you got to look at the far pack. You can't just say he has a better chest because you can see it better. With all due respect to Carlos Thomas, I think maybe Rubio, his chest looks more bountiful when you look at the far pack. Having said that, close, close, guys. Go to the side tricep. And I apologize on the quality of each pitcher, but you could see from the side chest that Rubiel, he might have the, the condition edge. I mean, the separation in the wheels, unbelievable. But all that aside, these two dudes, I honestly think that they are the future of this division, of this uh, IFBB, the entire federation. I mean, my soul. To be that huge... That massive everywhere. And to be able to snap a side tricep like this with a minimal size midsection. 
And that's what it's all about, guys. Or here in Canada, that's what it's all about. Midsections, tiny, arms, massive. That is bodybuilding. Here is the back. And this is probably Carlos Thomas Jr.'s only chance to get a victory over this Nexilla. This Rubiel. Lagzilla. Quadzilla. And is he doing it? Condition wise, I don't think so. I don't know. You'd have to be there. They look similar condition. They need maybe another, just a little bit to be, you know, your top four, five, six at the Olympia. I mean, I'm not saying that these guys aren't conditioned enough to win a pro show. I am saying how good they need to be to get into that three, four, five position and a little bit more condition yes but who is more conditioned between these two if i had to guess rubiel might be slightly but he doesn't have a screen behind him or in this case in front of him and i think that does help you know when you don't have the led screens or whatever they're called but we don't need to get into that i believe carlos is back it looks bigger he looks wider. The V-taper looks slightly better for the size of him. Lower half. Nobody's bigger than this Rubiel in the calf. It's making Carlos's calf look small. And he has huge calves. Here is the rear double. Hmm. Interesting. I believe this one favors Rubiel, where the rear lat spread, I think, was a better shot for carlos thomas and that excites me about the future of these guys they could be trading off shots now as is using these versions yes i think rubiel mosquera he is doing enough in the the conditioning department muscle separation but then again guys lighting could be a little bit different or could be better i think at the prog pro but man oh man talk about being out muscled in the lower half Carlos Thomas, I never thought I would see the day that, well, his legs don't look small. Again, I have to point to, you know, proportions, things of that nature. His legs look anything but small, but in the comparison, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think Yokozuna from the old WWF wrestling, I think his quads would look small compared to this guy. Having said that, though, like I, like I was saying, I think it's a better pose for Rubio. You can see the lat insertions a whole lot better. Back lat spread, Carlos probably had the edge. But ultimately, Rubiel, he might be more conditioned. And we know he is bigger. Big. Here's the abs and thigh. And this one is of some debate, I would wager to say. I would probably lean towards Rubiel because of the quad size. Quality looks pretty comparable to Carlos Thomas Jr.'s wheels. And the midsection, like I said, you know, a lot of separation there. Carlos, he has the edge, the aesthetics, the V-taper. Look at those lats. You could see that from the front lat spread and right from the get-go, the front double bicep. And his legs, I mean, sure, they're being undersized compared to this Balrontosaurus, this Godzilla. But they look good. They look very good in this shot here. So, debatable, I would wager to say. And the most muscular, these guys are, you know, they're, they're pretty close. And I do believe that they could actually trade shots in the next year, maybe the next couple of years, or trade victories over each other. That would be awesome. That would be exciting. But for that to happen, Carlos Thomas, and it's going to sound redundant. Is that the proper term? Might sound foolish to say this, but Carlos needs a little of this and a little of that. And the re reason why it is probably foolish to say that is because he probably, right this very moment, is packing on some clay. You know, where an artist would just slap on some clay. He is packing on, you know, he is training right now. He is going to look supreme. And wouldn't it be awesome? If he were to jump into that New York Pro. So he needs a little bit more conditioning from the side. Conditioning from behind. Because he's not going to beat Rubial on size. Nobody is. Nobody is. But he can, he can, you know, milk that upper body and that front double. 
You're going to get, you have Rubiel's number in that aspect. Front lat spread as well. Nice shot. I mean, from the side, not too many people in the IFBB have the capabilities of drying out a little bit more to defeat Rubiel. I mean, most people, it's not even a, not even a chance. But I think Carlos Thomas Jr., he does stand a chance against this great big Godzilla, Naxilla. But who's the rookie of the year? Who is the new? Who is the best rookie in the IFBB? I would wager to say that it is Rubio Mosquera. But Carlos Thomas Jr., a close second. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a nice one.